Hello guys, we are back with a brand new video. I'm Kai from Wondershare Demo Creator, and I hope you find our videos helpful and want us to continue making more great content. So don't forget to support us by clicking the subscribe button and also press the little bell icon so that you never miss an update from us. So you must have figured out today's topic from the title of the video. Yes, I'm going to talk to you about how to record a presentation on Zoom. I'll cover different methods so you're always ready to record a Zoom presentation without any challenges. I discovered that you can record a Zoom presentation both as an individual and in a group. Let's first discuss the individual recording method. The first step is to launch the Zoom application on your computer and then click settings. Now go to the recordings tab and make sure that recording video during screen sharing is enabled. Remember that you should keep your recording source unmuted so everything you say is captured in the recording. Also keep your webcam on if you want to include your face in the video. When everyone is in the meeting room, you can hit this record button at the bottom of the window to start recording. You can also use the Alt plus R shortcut key to start recording. At this point, the recording has started. You can click on the pause button or press Alt plus P to pause the recording. Similarly, you can end the recording by clicking on the stop button or pressing Alt plus R. The video recording of the Zoom presentation will be available in the selected folder. Now that you know how to record Zoom presentations individually, let's find out how to record group presentations. This requires everyone to have the Zoom app installed on their computers. Once you finalize the presentation and it's ready to be recorded, gather everyone into the meeting room. When everyone is in the meeting room, start recording the presentation while it's delivered by you or your team members. Click on the record button to start recording the presentation. You can also allow others to record the presentation by changing their settings from attendees to host. Click on participants from the bottom menu bar. A side window will appear. Hover over the participant name, click on the more button, and then click on make host. When the presentation is complete, you can stop the recording. If others haven't recorded the presentation, you can upload the file to a drive and then share the links with everyone so they can see it. So that's how to record a presentation on Zoom in a group. Now, while these methods work, you ideally want to have a recording tool that can do it easily. The next method I'm going to show you is how to do Zoom presentation recordings effortlessly with Wondershare Demo Creator. Wondershare Demo Creator is a professional screen recorder used by many professional content creators. It's an excellent option to use to record a Zoom presentation since it can record the screen, the system audio and microphone audio as well, all of which are necessary to get a useful recording of the presentation. Wondershare Demo Creator is an easy to use software and offers a variety of features. In addition, you can edit videos using its inbuilt video editor. It's really easy to record a Zoom presentation with Demo Creator. All you need to do is follow a three-step process. First, you have to have Demo Creator installed on your computer. You can use the link in the description to download the program, run the setup after the download is complete and install it using the default instructions. After installation, launch the program and then click start a record project in the next window to begin the process. Now you can see some settings that you can configure according to your needs. The capture area section is the most important since it will allow you to choose if you want to record the whole screen or a select area. You can opt for the full screen by clicking on the down arrow button or select custom area and then drag the borders, keeping the presentation within them. The system audio section is also important if you want to capture the audio of the person delivering the presentation. If it's you delivering the presentation, then keep the microphone enabled, otherwise disable it. The webcam tab allows you to choose whether or not you want to capture webcam footage. Now that all your settings are set, click the rec button to start recording. You can also use the F9 hotkey to begin the recording. A three second countdown appears on the screen before the actual recording begins. During the recording, you can press the F9 key to pause or resume the recording as required. When you're done, you can press the F10 key to finish the recording. The moment you hit the stop button, the recorded video will open automatically in the video editor where you can edit it as per your needs. 
you see how easy it is to do Zoom presentation recordings. So that's it for today's video. If you can think of any other methods that might be useful for others looking to record a Zoom presentation, then write them down in the comment section below. And also, if you found today's video helpful, make sure that you give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive notifications of our new videos. So thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video.